Welcome to the first game tutorial for Game Maker Studio 2. We are going to be creating a game called Evil Clutches. In completing this game, the student will understand how to add objects to a game which move on their own accord or in response to the player and interact with other objects. To be able to do this, the student will have to develop the knowledge indicated here in the level 2 The game scenario is as follows. You play a mother dragon who must rescue her hatchlings from an unpleasant band of demons that have kidnapped them. The band's boss sends a stream of demons to destroy the dragon as the hatchlings make their escape. The mother can fend off the boss minions by shooting fireballs, but must be careful not to accidentally shoot the hatchlings. You can see here I've highlighted some important aspects of the scenario which will help inform our specifications. From the game scenario and from playing an example of the game, these specifications can be developed as in this is what we need to do to actually complete the game. We need to have a mother dragon that moves up and down using their W and S keys and it shoots fireballs with the space key. We have a boss demon who automatically moves up and down and releases demons and babies. We have dragon babies which move straight left, are collected by the mother, are killed by fireballs. If they're collected by the mother, it's going to be 500 points. And if killed by a fireball, that's negative 300 points. There will be demons which randomly move up left, left or left down. They're killed by a fireball and it kills the mother dragon and the game restarts if they hit the mother dragon. If they kill by fireball, that's 100 points. We've got some aesthetics to consider, is we need to have background image of a cave, background music, sound for a demon dying, and sound for a baby dying, and ultimately we want to ensure this game plays without error. Part one of this tutorial series is creating a project in Game Maker Studio. The knowledge we will develop in this tutorial is about creating projects and how to arrange your files and resources appropriately within that project. You can see here I'm in my college OneDrive account I have created a folder called Game Maker and inside that I have a folder for this particular game called Evil Clutches. Inside Evil Clutches I have extracted the resources folder containing all the resources that we're going to be using for this game. The next step is to launch Game Maker Studio 2, which I have done here. And after the boot up screen, it will take you to this welcome screen here. And we need to choose to create a new project. So click on new. And we're going to click on drag and drop because we're going to make a drag and drop project. Now we need to navigate to the folder we just created on our OneDrive, so Game Maker, Evil Clutches. And in here we need to give the project a name which we are going to call Evil Clutches and go save. And we have now created our project. So we can now identify that we have created the project and all the files are ready to commence the development of the game.